Hi you guys, this is Guilherme from Vikram, uh, cheers from Brazil, and I'm gonna tell you about Behind the Mask Part 1, our debut album, and a little bit about our sound. We call ourselves a Oriental Prog Metal Band. What is a Oriental Prog Metal Band? Well, obviously, we are a Prog Metal Band, but we try to infuse different uh, musical elements from different Oriental cultures, from the Middle East. Uh, when you think about Middle East, maybe you think about sand and Arabic stuff. But there's so much more. There's so much more colors, so much more, how can I say, uh, richness, so much more uh, different aspects like we have India, we have Persia, we have Syria, of course we have Egypt, some Arabic stuff, but we have a lot of great, great, great uh, exotic uh, rhythms, uh, harmonies, melodies, we have different instruments for each one of them. So we try to incorporate them into our music, infuse them into our music. So that's the main thing about our style. Heavy progressive sound with those little colors from the Middle East. So Behind the Mask, our debut album. It's the first one of a trilogy. We have a book as well. Behind the Mask, it's the story of a man that got cursed with a mask, by a mask, and he's immortal, and he's, he wanders the world, and try to remember, try to understand what's the purpose of his life. So, each chapter of the book is in a different country, he's in a different region, and we try to, to incorporate the aspect the cultural aspect of that region we try to transfer you to that place we try to like a movie so that's mainly the the proposal the, the main objective of the album the lyrics uh, we try to incorporate the style of writing of the author in our lyrics because uh, we ha he has a, a really particular way of writing something. He uses words like really harsh words, really heavy words, but beautiful words. Uh, he has a lot of influences by Lovecraft, uh, Tolkien, Stephen King, the good guys. <laughs> and... We have some different languages too. We have the Arabic stuff. We have uh, Indian Sanskrit. Indian is Sanskrit. And we have Spanish. We even have Spanish, uh, Latin. So we had a huge work in searching the right words and adapting to become something beautiful and poetic. So about the cover art, we got here behind the mask part one. Obviously we got the masks and the fires, the burning fires of hell. <laughs> so the main protagonist uh, get in touch with a mask that makes him immortal, he's cursed, he was in search of revenge and he finds a guy, not gonna spoil the story, <laughs> that gives him this mask and he becomes immortal. So after he got his revenge, he tries to kill himself by burning himself alive, but obviously as he is immortal now, he couldn't do it. So he wanders the world, 
in search of a purpose, a new purpose in life, in search of a new way of life, in search of spiritual enlightenment. We got spiritual beasts. We are very fortunate to have spiritual beasts. Thank you, Akira, for believing in us. We got a great response there. Uh, the market in Japan is kind of Japan, Asia. It's kind of closed. It's not very easy to enter the, this market. And it's really important there to have a, a label because we have a, a physical distribution and physical distribution in, for example, Japan is really important because they really, really still buy the, the physical copies. They really like to have in their hands, to collect it, to read the booklets. So we are very fortunate to have this opportunity. Maybe we are gonna make some tours, some gigs there and by the end of next year. We are working on that. And Rockshot Records, we got a European release, we got a South American release and shortly we're gonna have a North American release. So, of course, it's not mandatory nowadays to have a label. You can do it yourself. You can post in Spotify, uh, iTunes, or I don't know, whatever the platform you choose, YouTube. But I think the label is still important because of the chances that you have of distribution, the physical distribution, that's still important, of course, doesn't have the power, the the numbers and the value they used to have, but it's still important. And as I said, the dis distribution is uh, kind of difficult because we have a market flooded with so many bands, so many good bands, so every inch of help that you can get, it's important. So I think it's valid. So about touring next year, we are working on it. We got a lot of great responses. We got invitations and all over the world, from all over the world. We are really, really excited and we're planning everything at the moment. Maybe by the end of March, we're gonna start it. We're still working the logistics, but for sure, we're gonna tour a lot next year. Epic fails. Well, <laughs> we didn't have the chance to have a lot of epic fails, but for sure, they're gonna happen because the songs are tough as hell, uh, for, especially from my part because I have a huge problem memorizing lyrics <laughs> and the songs are huge. Sometimes the lyrics are huge. We have different lyrics for each chorus in some songs. We have different languages. <laughs> well, it's gonna be tough. A recent released, well, a, a recent release that impressed me. Well, uh, I'm a huge Portnoy fan. <laughs> As well, Billy Sheehan and Jeff Scott Soto, Ron Dalman, both hood. And the Sons of Apollo, I really, really enjoy their, their album. I think they just released a new video amazing amazing great songs uh, great arrangements shredding everything but not just shredding aimlessly but some great stuff there some great ideas great melodies really really enjoyed their album so our plans for the year just released three videos Wrecking for satan 
uh, burden and the mortal dance of Kali. We intend to release more videos, one for each chapter or each song. Uh, by the beginning of next year, we are working on workshops. We are working on playthroughs with the tablatures. We are organizing our schedule to start the gigs by maybe March after February. We are working in into some dates by July in Europe. So still early to say everything that's gonna happen with we're, we're still working the logistics but it's like this uh playthroughs more videos the gigs workshops and who knows the book that we're gonna release and who knows what might happen